Andrew Evans writes, I would like to ask a question to my favorite YouTube channel. The question is, why do they put big name actors and actresses in comic book movies and not younger actors to get their career going? Marvel is owned by Disney, but no Disney stars are in Marvel movies. Why is that? I can just see simply Raven as Black Widow or something like that. I Look, this. thank you for the question, by the way. And I, for me, it comes down you raise a really interesting point, like why go back to established actors? So though, you know, one, while talent scouts knew exactly how good Chris Hemsworth was as an actor, the general public didn't know him. He wasn't a big name actor and he's Thor. Uh, Chris Evans, a lot of us know who he is, but nobody was gonna put him in A-list status and yet now he's Captain America and so on and so forth. So it's, so there, it's a misconception to say that Marvel only puts big name established actors in their movies because obviously that's not true. There's some of them that are, absolutely. But when you ask the question, when you phrase it in the way that you did about why not give it to young actors, unknown actors, so they can launch their careers? And it comes down to this. I get several variations of the same question, but here's the principle that it always comes back to for me. Actors are there to serve the movie. The movie is not there to serve the actors. Let me say it again. The actors are there to serve the movie. The movie does not exist to serve the actors. In other words, studios, directors, writers, all that kind of stuff, everything has to be done with the one goal in mind of what will make this movie better. Not what will launch this person's career or what will make this person more famous or what will do that. The goal is what will make this movie the best movie it can be. If it means getting a relatively unknown but known to be talented actor like Chris Hemsworth to be Thor, then you go do it. If it's, if it's to go out and get a legendary actor like Sir Anthony Hopkins to play Odin, if they think that's what will make the film better, then go and put him in it. That's got to be the goal. Never worry about, it's not a movie's job to worry about launching somebody's career. That's not their job. Their job is to make the best movie possible, you get the best people possible to go in those roles and get the best fits. And look, if at some point Ashley Tisdale is the best fit to play Wonder Woman, then <laughs> fine, then more power to them and they'll do that. But until that happens, that the studio actually thinks that this little girl or this little guy or this up-and-coming actor and that up-and-coming actress are the best fit and give our movie the best chance of success, then it's not going to happen and it shouldn't happen. So anyway, that's just the way I see it. Aaron, what do you think? I think that studios take a lot into consideration when they look about who they're going to cast or who's going to test for a certain role. And it's untrue that only A-list movie stars are considered for these because I know actors that did test against Chris Evans for Captain America that weren't A-list movie stars. Right. And also there's different ways of defining success in acting. I mean, is a TV actor at the same level as a movie star actor? Maybe not in terms of recognizing and how uh, familiar we are with their work, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that they don't have a great body of work and that they're not talented or well known in certain circles. So it's kind of a misconception that these people are out of the running for roles like that, but I think there's a lot that goes into casting. So again, I think it all just comes down to who's best for that role. Hey Rose? I mean, look at Tom Hiddleston. He wasn't a larger than life name no. before this. He was this. known in circles he was to be known, very talented. Very talented, but, but now he actor. is immortalized. Yeah. And I mean, that's what these films can do. They can serve as a platform. Chris Evans, like you were saying, when he was first cast as Captain America, I was like, oh no. And I love him as that role. Yeah. So I really do think that Disney and especially Marvel know what they're doing. Um, they see the screen test. They see, you know, they have the script. They have someone in mind, and and they're brilliant. They know what they're doing. Why? Why? We don't want fans picking the actors because they are the professionals. But, I mean, they give all these Disney, you know, um, high school musical and all these things. That is their platform. I mean, look at all the actresses that launched with Spring Breakers. They're getting mm -hmm. away from that image. It's kind of their responsibility of their agent and, the, you know, just kind of shaping their career to get that way. It's definitely not the studio, as you were mm -hmm. saying. They need to make it bankable for themselves. They're putting a lot of money and effort and marketing and everything w with the hopes of this film, you know, being really successful. And they're not just going to throw in a name because they think she has something special. I mean, sometimes it happens. I mean, look at Joey King. She kind of came out of nowhere. Ty Simpsons, all these young, aspiring actors that are really making something of themselves. We see them in one film like Iron Man, Insidious, whatever, and then their career kind of just continues to climb that way. Disney's not stupid. If they see talent, they're going to take it 
but a lot of the times, you know, it happens after the fact. So yeah, I definitely think that they know what they're doing. They are the professionals. They see someone for a role, and they're going to go that whether they're a big name or not. So it all depends. And I'm on glad you brought up bit. Tom Hiddleston because Hiddleston is, I, I think, the perfect example for this. Like there was a, nobody at Marvel's like. We need to make this Tom Hiddleston guy a star. Yeah. I mean, because he's talented, so we need to make him a star. Let's, uh, what, what roles we got open? Loki, let's put him in as Loki. No, it was, you know what? This guy, with all the traits that he brings, despite the fact that he's unknown, and there were some very big name actors oh, up yeah. for the role of Loki, by the way, mm -hmm. said, we think he will best fit our vision for Loki yeah. and really bring it to life. And I think the same is true for the young Disney actors yeah. as well. If they ever get that chance. They had no idea Loki was going to explode the not way he that did. Big. <laughs> not that big. He's the, you know, the Joker, like Heath Ledger character for Marvel. For Marvel Speak in many on. ways. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.